Joining us here the day after Championship Sunday is a veteran of such a day, going to the Super Bowl and winning it. He's a two-time Super Bowl champion, courtesy of Quaker Eli Manning, back here on the Rich Eisen Show. How you doing, Eli? I'm doing great, Rich. How are you? I am great, thank you. Uh, what uh, What do you think of when you watch Mahomes and Burrow quarterback against each other in a championship game like yesterday? I, I think it's it's just great football as as a as a quarterback and and just appreciating great quarterback play. Uh, both those guys um, are, are just super, superstars. And the way Mahomes went out there with the bum ankle, just some of the throws he makes off platform, on the run, off one foot body totally not in position to make a throw and still make some unbelievable throws was impressive and and burrow i mean he was just getting killed sack and hit and down but it doesn't affect him it doesn't make him force throws he he still hangs in the pocket tough makes clutch throws so uh just just impressed with both those guys that afc uh is, is in pretty good shape for the next uh, the next many years with that guy throwing josh allen it's a pretty good list of quarterbacks. That's no question. I mean, the third quarter where Burrow threw that high-pointed football for T. Higgins for a touchdown, and then Mahomes responds with a dart over the middle uh, after he showed the first significant sign of of aggravating that ankle. I, I was just shaking my head. I was, just, I'm like, this is what it's supposed to be like in, in a championship game. Can you put into words what what it requires to? have such a focus and success at such a high level when the whole country's watching? Do you just go in a zone? Yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, yeah, I, mean, I think you're just in your zone. You, I think, obviously, to get to that level, to be in that game, I mean, you're, you're playing some of your best football. And, you know, guys know what to expect. They know the plays that they like. And you've overcome, you know, so much during the course of the season where you've had games where it's been tough and you've had sacks or you're, you know, maybe got off to a, a slow start but you've been able to just kind of hang around, hang around, and you know you're eventually you're going to make plays. And so you can you can be patient and wait for those opportunities. And you see that with both of them. It's not always perfect, but with Mahomes, just the creativity and, and some of the throws, his touchdown throw over the middle of the post, like he's moving the pocket, he's on one foot, and just the arm strength to get that and get that good throw. Uh, not, you know, that, that's that's the impressive thing. Not many people can make that throw with with – with two healthy ankles, let you know, let alone one. So, um, you know, I think both of them, and then Burrow, like I said, just the toughness, and you know, he he runs for you know for first downs, had some you know making guys miss. He hangs in the pocket, and so um, you know, both of them, I think, just are, are playmakers, and they they look forward to and just in really play their best football in critical moments. And obviously the Chiefs are going to have their hands full with the Eagles, who seem to just be dominating the trenches. They they, they really. I know we're, so many people are talking about the fact that Purdy got hurt and the quarterback was such a dumpster fire situation for San Francisco, but uh, I'm wondering what you think about Philadelphia's ability to win this Super Bowl, Eli. I mean, I think, you know, it pains me to say a little bit, Rich, but they're playing some really good football, and they've been playing good football all year long, and they don't, you know, they haven't just been beating people. They've been they've been kind of embarrassing some people and, and putting it on them, and and it's, it's just the style they're doing it. They're playing, you know, great defense. They have two lockdown corners. They got a defense line gets to the quarterback. Reddick's causing havoc on everybody. I mean, it, it, it's impressive to see, you know, teams are having a hard time getting a first down, let alone scoring scoring touchdowns. And so, um, and then their offense is just, they're, they're running the ball so well, whether it's one of their three running backs or Jalen Hurts is running it. And they got the RPO action where they're just, you know, if you want to try to stop the run, you get out of position. They're going to throw a quick, easy slant. You know, guys are open. It's it looks pretty easy out there, and to to make a game that is very difficult look easy uh, is impressive. And so, you know, it's it's a big challenge for Steve Spagnuolo and that Kansas City defense to try to slow down that rushing attack and and quick passing game. Um, and then they have the playmakers outside. You know, they'll take their shots and and get A.J. Brown and, and get them going on some shots down the field if they need to. So who do you like? You're my first, by the way, I'm asking about. Well, a who do you answer. like? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's two weeks. It's hard for me to, to, to like the Eagles. Like, that, mm. like, like and Eagles is not, it's not like, it's not a word, oh. or not a phrase, or yeah. not something I can, I can possibly say. I got a lot of respect for them and the way they're playing. I just, I just talked about it. And you see, when you see good football, I think you have to, you have to acknowledge it, and they're playing good football. But uh, I have a lot of respect for Patrick Mahomes, a lot of a lot of respect for Andy Reid, Steve Spagnola, 
I know those guys have been around them, been coached by Andy Reid in the Pro Bowl, They've been coached by Steve Spagnola. Um, and so I just, uh, you know, feel like they, they've obviously they've been in this scenario before, uh, and I think they'll be ready for it. Yeah, I saw that billboard uh, in Philadelphia that greeted you uh, for the playoff game, Eli, with the, the two uh, Eagles, uh, and I'm like, huh. We, uh, you know, they, they said hello. It's I real oh, it's two birds next to each other. How did you explain that uh, that uh, billboard to your children as you drove into town? Eli? Huh. How did it was interesting? You know, I, likely my my kids have kind of seen you know the double bird and me mm-hmm. giving that. So they they understood it a little bit. <laughs> my, I, I brought my my oldest daughter Ava, who's eleven, to, to the game. I brought her to yep. Philadelphia. I gave mm-hmm. her a little heads up. She might see some things, but she definitely. She came out of that game with a few new, um, you know, learned a few new hand gestures and yep. and a few new vocabulary words. And so, I told her, you know, whatever you whatever you see and hear in Philadelphia, it's got to stay there. Uh, you mm. can't bring that back to school. Like nothing, you know, we don't need you getting expelled mm-hmm. uh, in sixth grade. So, uh, but it was it was a learning experience. It was great just to be there to to root on the Giants. They had a great year, you know, w- w- going to the playoffs, winning a playoff game, and. And so I was happy to be there and cheer them on. It just didn't quite work out the way we wanted it. All right. So then, who do you think will win Super Bowl Fifty Seven? I'll remove who do you like in it. Who do you who do you think will win? You're my first uh, to have here to analyze Super Bowl Fifty Seven. I know it's two weeks out, but what do you got? For me? Well, yeah, I think I think I think it's um, I think Kansas City will win. I think just the fact that they've been there a number of times, they've been in these big games, they've been in these AFC championship games the last five years like all that counts all of that plays into they know the schedule of what they're about to get to with the super bowl and so uh they've done it before and i think that's an advantage and i think they uh, uh they just kind of have that you know that that it factor that they can they can go win and win this game two-time super bowl champion eli manning here with quaker which we'll get to in, in one hot minute but uh before uh before i do what do you think the Giants should do? Do you think Daniel Jones has earned his his way into that second uh, uh, generationally enriching contract? What do you think, Eli? I, I do. I think, uh, you know, I've known, known Daniel, seen his progression. Uh, I've always been on his side and rooted for him, and I think he played outstanding this year in, in, a, tough, in a tough environment, not, you know, losing a lot of your, your receivers and your weapons on the outside. Um, and he just was able to play play great, play well in the four, in fourth quarters, and, and lead the team back to victory. Maybe played his best game of the entire season in the playoffs against Minnesota. So to know you have a quarterback that can you know rise to the occasion, can step up and and lead the team to victory is 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 huge. I think he'll just continue to get better within this offense. You know, going into it just the second year, if they can you know get get a couple playmakers on the outside around them, uh, and so. Uh, I hope I hope he's the he's the starting quarterback for the Giants for a long time. Yeah, I know he had he had some talent. I didn't know he could look like Colin Kaepernick, you know, uh, against the Packers, like he's he did bad. against the Vikings. I mean, that was unbelievable. What do you think? What is what what do you know potentially or, or think Brian Dayball has been able to unlock uh, with Daniel Jones and his handling of him or or the scheming around him? What do you have for me there? Eli. Yeah, I think just the, the scheming, them just to find find ways to you know get him on the outside, and, you know, you know, knowing the teams are trying to stop Saquon and they're attacking him where they can get him open and, and he's running, but he's not running and taking hits. I mean, he's just he, you know making good decisions on some of that, some of the play action and the bootlegs and the nakeds where he's on the edge and you're you're you know kind of protecting a. Uh, some young offensive linemen and, you know, a way to get receivers open with scheme because, you know, not not all of them were able to just, you know, win, you know, continually win one-on-one matchups. So it's just a – it was a great coaching job. And guys buying into the system, doing whatever it took to uh, to make it work. And I think, you know, you got to have that, but also have some players that way. We can just – you don't have to have this perfect scheme all the time. You can just say, hey, we're one-on-one. Let our guys go win. They didn't have a ton of that this year. All right, let's get to Eli Manning before you go. Uh, people to the Super Bowl in Vegas next year through Quaker. Um, and what, what, uh, okay, I see what's going on here. So, uh-huh. folks, it's folks. Tough to say. Well, well hold, on say, Folk, no, hold on a second. Folks, no, hold on a second. I'm a lead pipe wielding professional, Eli Manning. How dare you? Uh, it, it, folks will need to send in a video of how they're preparing for this year's Super Bowl using Quaker Oats, and it's called a pre-grain 
contest? Is that what it is? Yeah. See how they pre-grain yeah. for the game? Is that what you're saying, Eli? Yeah. Exactly. Well done. Yeah. So Thank that's you. Quaker. They're inviting fans to share how they pre-grain mm-hmm. for the big game for a chance to go to next year's Super Bowl mm-hmm. in Las Vegas. So to enter the contest, you go to TikTok. You go. You follow at Quaker. Mm-hmm. And between today and February 12th, which is Super Bowl Sunday, you upload your own pre-grain video of mm-hmm. how you use Quaker oats. And uh, use the, the, the caption with the hashtag Quaker pre grain hashtag entry, and you get a chance to uh, win an opportunity to go to the Super Bowl next year. So if a Buffalo Bills fan is feeling good about their chance to make it next year, they can just grab a bowl of Quaker oats, jump off of an RV into a table while eating said Quaker oats, and they're – you know they're in the, they're a finalist for that, don't you think? I mean, don't you think that's a finalist video? I, I can't right encourage there? that act, but yes, something of that of that sort is, uh, is okay. what we're looking for. We're looking for creativity, we're okay, for fun, okay, and uh, yeah, for right. Bills fan, you know, I think, uh, yeah, I, okay. I like the I like the idea. Uh, uh, an Eagles fan flying two bowls, two bowls of of Quaker oats, <laughs> right? What do you think of that? <laughs> Holding exactly. Okay. Exactly. We're You're just, on the right page. You're very creative. I, you know, this I, is my, this I, what I, I do. You hold I the bowls with. Fan, I think you should just help some fans come up with some more ideas. <laughs> Well, I don't know how you could hold two bowls of Quaker oats with just two fingers. I don't know how you could do that. But uh, we, we have time, basically. We have time. Um, <laughs> just use the hashtag of Quaker pregrain and hashtag entry when you do that. Eli, thank you. I always uh, enjoy yeah. our chats. Always a pleasure. Hope to see you uh, see you out in Arizona. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see you and enjoy the Pro Bowl. And uh, we're we're always watching the Manning cast. My kids love it, man. You you talk to the children, Perfect. Eli. Maybe it's because they love watching two brothers talk like that. It's great. Enjoy it. Exactly. Thank you, Rich. You got it. that's Eli Manning, two time Super Bowl champ, courtesy of Quaker, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, twelve to three Eastern for free. 